Hello everyone, Rosemary here from the Lavinia Stamps Design Team. I hope you're all enjoying the Clockwork Carnival. It's such an exciting time for Lavinia Stamps with all their clockwork stamps and other goodies coming out. So I hope you're all thoroughly enjoying yourselves. Um, today I'd like to share with you one of my sample cards. I had to send it off in the post and didn't have enough time to make it another one. So I've printed out a picture of the one that I made. But we'll see what it looks like properly when we've finished making it. Um, you can do it in any colour you like. I think it would look wonderful in some, some of the other colours that are available. I've used Elements inks and there are some beautiful colours in Elements inks, aren't there? So let's get started. So I have cut my card to 14 centimetres square. And that's going to be my topper and I've already inked up my background card to save a little bit of time when it comes to mounting it and that's 14 and a half centimeters so we're going to start with this one and I've used the heart stencil on my card but before I did that I coloured the whole of my card in just plain pink um, with my Lavinia Stamps brush. And there's lots of juiciness in the element sinks. So I always make sure and gently come into the card from the edge. And then I'm just going to gradually keep coming into the centre of the card. It's nice that the weather started warming up a little bit. It has been quite cold of lately. So for this part, I will fast forward the video so that you can see the colour as I'm adding it. For any newbies, 
or new people new to crafting you can either just wipe up your ink or if you've always got like a little piece of card leftover card this is multifarious card by the way i just sometimes while i'm just mop a little bit up just as it can give me a, a nice already background for a tag that i could use later on and then i'll wipe the rest up My daughter likes to make ATCs, so these come in handy for that as well. I'll put that there to dry. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to put on our um, heart stencil. So I'm going to place my heart stencil on the card. I'm using the outside one first, the mask. No, the step room. The aperture, sorry. The aperture. This is the mask. This is the aperture. I'm going to place that over my piece of card. So it's in the centre. I'm going to next I'm going to stamp my heart stamp so I'm using the small heart from the set of two these are just beautiful and I'm going to get my stamp press to actually place it down in the corner because I might want to stamp it again in a little while so I'm going to put it right down in the corner I'm going to place that there and pick that up and as you can see I've all, I'm going to need to mask off my heart later on so I've already cut out my um, template. So I'm going to get my VersaFine Clear Nocturne. I'm going to ink up my stamp. I'm going to stamp my image in the centre of my heart. I'm going to just press down for a few minutes. And there we go. Oh, I need a, just a little tad more there, I think. And there we go. As you can see in the photograph I've done the heart in gold so the reason I put my card there was I don't want to do that yet I want to do the so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our mica powder onto our um, heart and this is um, mica minerals in copper from Lavinia stamps so I'm just going to use a little tiny bit on, on my finger and I'm just going to rub it on because I've used because I've used Versamark it, um, it will stick 
to the actual ink itself. And the reason I used black instead of using Versa Fine was I wanted the image to show and it showed up. I tried both ways and this way, this way showed up the um, heart much better. So that's that part done. And you just need a nice piece of dry clean cloth just to brush over it. And if I want to put some more on later, I'm going to leave, I know to put my card there. So as you can see, you get a nice shine. I'm not sure if it shows up in the... So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to stamp our cogs. So I used... There are three sets of cogs, so I've used that, this one, this one, this one, and this one from stamp set one, and I've used this, oh, and I've used this one, this one, and this one from stamp set two. There are three sets of stamp um, cog stamps, so there's a twenty. I think it's twenty to choose from. So we're going to use our VersaFine Clear Ink for this one. And I did have a round. I think I put that in. There it is, under my stamp press, a silly place to put it. So I'm going to use my round stamp press with my um, VersaFine Clear Nocturne. And I started up the top. This is where our mask comes into place. So we place our mask over our heart. Like so. And then I'm going to start with my big cog, biggest one thing, biggest one out of this set. <coughs> I'm going to make sure I've got a nice lot of ink on my fingers and I'm going to place this one in that part of the heart there and press press down and there we go I only use that stamp once, so we don't use to need to use that one again. The next one I used was this one. 
I always bring my ink pad to my stamp because I find if I press the stamp into the ink pad, I always get ink on the outside. And I'm going to stamp this one. I'm placing it so that it goes in between the cogs that are sticking out. Like that. I need that one again later on. And the next one I'm going to do is number this one. Num this, this one. I don't have numbers. Maybe I should number them. This one from set one. And I'm going to put that in in there. And then I'm going to use this one. This one. Um, and that's going to come here. Like that. And then I've got one more to go here which is my large one. And I'm just going to place that one there. So that's the first part of our cog stamping done. So now I'm going to come down to the bottom of the card and I'm going to do the right hand side of my card here and the first one I'm going to stamp is this one again Let's stick that down and that's going in the base here And then I've used this one with the little holes in the middle as my next one. Next to that one. So it's touching the heart. And then I'm going back to my little tiny small one. And that's going in there. And then I need one more. Which is this one? Oh. It's nice to have so many cogs to choose from as well. There we go. So that's our cogs done. You could have, you could have all done all of that and then um, you could have used um, the mica pad as on the hearts as well. But I wanted to um, give you the full blackness when they're the full pattern from when they're in black ink I'm just wiping my hands with some gel in case I get black on the back of my card and I'm going to now remove my aperture put it back on its piece of backing and I'll clean that off in a little while 
and so this is what we're left with now so now I'm going to put on my aperture I can remove my mask now now I'm going to put on my aperture I'm just using that as a guide Now the next thing I did was I, I, I highlighted, no I didn't, the next thing I did was I got my little brush that I use with my Versamark this little brush here that I use with my verse mark and I gently flicked out verse mark all around the edge of my heart making sure that I can see that there's some everywhere Yep, that looks good. I'm going to leave that on actually. I'm just going to wipe around the inside of my heart. And then I'm going to get my paintbrush and my copper mica minerals. And a piece of scrap paper. And then I'm just going to gently Brush my micro minerals around the edge of my card. Once I've done that, I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to get a piece of kitchen roll. And I'm just going to
rub away the excess mica powder that's on there. I'm going to put my cogs away so that I don't lose them. And the next thing I did was um, I got the beautiful new steampunk script, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to put this on an acrylic block. And I'm just going to randomly stamp second generation on my card or third generation sometimes <clears throat> third generation <clears throat> I don't mind if I don't put ink on some bits because sometimes it's nice to have it a rustic or distressed. So that's our beautiful new script that we can use in the background. And the next thing I did was I went round <coughs> I went round the edge again to give a bit more depth to the card with the, with the ink just on the edge. So I'm pinching my brush together. Sometimes you just forget to do something. Always remember to tap off the edge of your sometimes it's good to make mistakes, I think. Normally I would leave this to dry or heat dry it for a little while. I might, I'll give it a quick blast actually. Okay, there we go. So sorry about that bit there, see if we can blend it in a bit more. I do love this colour, this confetti colour. Just gonna add a few splashes of water. Just 
just to give a little bit more texture to the background. Not too much, just a little bit. And then the last thing we're going to do is remove remove our mask, which leaves our background a nice pink colour. And put that back with the other part over there. And I hope you can see that so far. And then the last thing I did was add two of the Time Fly sentiments. There's four, uh, five in the set, sorry. Um, time flies, every second counts. Time is of the essence, the wheel of time, and time is the most important, valuable thing we can spend. Very true. So I use Time Flies and Every Second Counts. So we do the time flies first. Oop, wrong box. Versifying clear. These have a really good seal on them, as you can see. So there's no, no chance of them drying out if you put the lid on properly. And I put my time flies up here. I'm just going to take it a little bit towards the edge of the card. I'm just going to hold it in place for a, a minute to soak into the card. There we go. Beautiful. I love the fonts on these as well. They're all different. The other one was every second counts. And I'll put that down on the bottom near the cog. Because the cogs are what's counting the seconds away. And I'm going to place that there. Hold it in place for the ink to soak in. And there we go. You know, I wasn't sure if I'd actually pressed record, but I have. <laughs> Put that back with its buddies. And now I'm going to mount the card up. So this is my... Now, first of all, I'm going to put my little black line around. So I use a Sharpie. Ouch. I use a Sharpie. And I always have the white side towards me. And I'm going to hold the cloth because I've just inked up my sentiments. And I'm just going to gently put a black line. Down the edge of my card. Just make, it makes it stand out just that tiny weeny bit. I always have the white bit facing me so that if I accidentally slip like that, it doesn't go on my card. Normally it doesn't happen that often, but Today, so I'm really glad that I did it that way around. And it just gives that little bit of extra depth to your card. I've already done the outside one. So now we're going to put our card together and it's going to go on a six by six inch card. Yeah. 
Okay, there. So I'll just put that there for a minute and I'll fold my card up. Draw it. Because don't forget your um, Versamark and Versafine stay wet for a little while. So I'm just going to give it a quick zap. nice clean piece of paper down and you get double sided tape okay we we'll use glue today so I wait for the glue to so and give it a little squeeze. And I like to use the collal glue because you can move your card around. If I use double-sided tape, I use, usually use um, print stick on top of it because then it gives you that little bit of time to make sure it's in the right place. So I've used multifarious card, which you can get from Living Your Stamps. It's a beautiful card, so smooth. I hope you've all enjoyed these new stamps and I hope you're thoroughly excited about them as much as the design team were. They're absolutely wonderful. There are some beautiful, beautiful samples that have been done by the design team. And I'm just going to... Double check that looks all right. The Maybe you make a nice Valentine's card, especially if you did it in blue for your husband or your boyfriend or your aunt or your uncle or whatever, whoever you want. So enjoy the rest of the tutorials and the rest of the shows. Hope you wish you all good luck in the prize draws competitions. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.